Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play some Super Metroid. This is Adeptus Terra X, and we're gonna cut the shit. And we're gonna have some fun. I tell you what. Okay, here we go. So we're here. We'll go ahead and blast out the uh, the missile door to get the map data. I guess that's what's over here. In fact, I'm sure it is. Of course it is. What was I thinking? Kind of reminds me of that little that little robot guy off of a. Uh... Oh Jesus! I'm I'm uh... lost in space. <laughs> I was thinking of Swiss Family Robinson, but that's certainly not the case. So, yeah. Just do a couple little quick explorations, extractions of certain objects and materials. Come on. Okay. So how's everybody doing today? I certainly hope you're doing well. I know I am. On this fine fine January evening. Oh yeah, that's right. Here's where they teach you how to jump with the bomb. <laughs> so. Which you can do pretty extensively if you have really good timing, which I don't. I mean, you know, there's different ways to get the rhythm and stuff, but I just like, I, it's not for me. Yeah, see, I don't know. Sometimes I get lucky enough to be able to, like, do it once but it's usually not the case. Oh, for shit's sake, let's do this. Okay. So. So now we're gonna head on down to Brand Star. I guess you could call it the new Bren Star, or maybe it's not the new Bren Star, but it's certainly newer than the old Bren Star. <laughs> These are energy tanks, as you probably already know. You gotta love these guys. They refill your health back to a completely full potential. Just blast the shit out of these guys with some missiles, since they're gonna give them right back to us anyway. Hey. That's enough of that. Yep, gotta love the meat tanks. On over there is, uh, I'm not gonna go over there. That leads to the end of the game. <laughs> Already? No way. Yeah, no. I ain't shitting you. The end of the game. Turian. Turian. Tur Turian. Okay. kind of hang tight for a second. I gotta give me a fatty little pinch of Copenhagen going on here. Listen to the to the sweet essence of Brent Star music. Oh yeah, that's better. That's the stuff. Good old Copenhagen. Makes your teeth whiter. You jump higher. Run faster. Cures aneurysms or whatever else you might want to possibly have. No, I'm just shitting you. This stuff's terrible for you. But I love it. Oh. Where am I going? I got distracted. I got a little too happy here. We'll get one little thing out of here. Since I can't mockball for shit, that'll just have to go in the uh, normal order. We'll be... We'll be um, all sequence breaking in some areas of this game, but not all. 
primarily any area which requires a mock ball or uh, or something of that nature just because it'd take me a million tries <laughs> some things I can do and some things I just can't do for shit so mock ball is one of them come on it's Mr. Krabs those little guys, those little uh, crab type creatures, you find a a uh, later variant of them uh, later on in the game in Mer in Meridia that are kind of a pain in the ass to kill. You know, they're kind of tough and uh, they're just annoying more than anything. I mean, they don't really hurt you, but uh, the grappling beam kills them in one in uh, one shot. Oddly enough, I mean, you know, usually the gra the grappling beam isn't really isn't really too feasible or or uh, too effective against most enemies. That's just a save point. But um, yeah, <laughs> grappling beam, kind of funny. Over here, we'll just do a little quickie thing going on. Um, these little bug guys, these little bats with stuff are are floating around in the sky and you don't really want to shoot them or you want to avoid them if you can because they're creating light. And if you shoot them all down, then it's dark and you can't see where you're going. It's just a missile re refill, missile reload complete. Which, I mean, I honestly never use those or uh, very rarely if I do just because I mean all you have to do if you want to refill your missiles is just kill some enemies and and uh, they're always dropping plenty of missiles anyway that's one thing that I love about this game that you never really have to worry about conserving your ammunition because they just dish it out to you like crazy and you just keep on getting more of it you know so I say sweet sweet business Maynard Mothman. One Mothma. Bomb our way through this little little sand dune. Kind of looks like it's snowing in the background. I was never really sure what uh, what exactly it was supposed to be. What this material is, you know. I mean, whether it's supposed to be some kind of some kind of uh, oddly shaded dirt material or but you know, if it is, and what's all this flaky stuff falling down, or is it some sort of organic living, living tissue? I mean, it's almost kind of like you're inside of a body. You know, maybe it is some sort of alien life form inside of here. So, here's one area where we'll just mildly sequence break by getting this uh, missile, missile pack, since you're not technically supposed to know how to wall jump yet. But that's easy enough, and. uh I guess technically you're supposed to swing over using these little blocks with the grappling beam, but who wants to do that? And there's 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 a few videos on on uh, actually I'm sure there's probably hundreds of videos on YouTube about how to wall jump, but I mean it's it's something which can be really troublesome. Uh, I know I had a little bit of trouble with it when I was first starting, just getting the the right configuration. But I mean, just it's all about muscle memory. Basically, you jump against the wall while you're spinning. You have to be spinning, otherwise it doesn't work. Jump against the wall, and while you're spinning up against it, press away from the wall, and then jump. You have to press away before you press jump. And then press back against the wall and press jump. So really, the only thing which can screw you up is if you allow your thumbs to get crisscrossed and you, uh, you know, do it out of order. If you end up, if you end up trying to jump before you press away and that sort of thing. So anyhow. We got the charge beam, and uh, we're just cooking right along, aren't we? So, 
and this also leads to another area later on but we have uh, these little symbols here which tell us tell us that our current means of uh, demolition are not effective so and uh, what does that mean well it just means we gotta get some other shit so we'll come back to it later which is what we'll need for that door too because it's a power bomb door and those are little power bomb symbols look at that stuff just floating down from the ceiling I wonder what the hell it is this little f flaky business it's like it's snowing inside just try not to think about it looks kinda gross actually this area here uh... just leads to a save point um, not really sure why they put a save point here maybe it's because uh... maybe because spore spawns coming up and they thought that you know you since it's the one of the first bosses of the game that you might uh... might need a little help and uh, need to save before um, or whatever maybe it's just trying to trying to get you into the habit of looking for secrets and stuff but anyhow we're not gonna mess with that because it's unnecessary these little hangy things I uh... they're kinda weird I mean you know they look like a combination of of bats and floppy little pumpkin seeds or something hanging upside down but or I guess it's supposed to be some kind of flower or, or something but uh, anyway here we are at uh, the Brinstar sub boss or mini boss or whatever his name is Spore Spawn if it is in fact a he it's kinda hard to tell the sex on a plant but uh, it's a big old spiky ball sack looking thing so I guess it may be he anyhow all you do is just sit here in the corner and nothing can hit you as long as you're sitting right here and uh... eventually he'll stop and open the big old mouth like thing he's got going on there and uh... send a couple missiles this way and then um, go back into a ball <laughs> it's that simple just kinda time consuming which can be a little frustrating but if you're quick you can get two missiles off and uh, that kind of speeds up the process a little bit, but still, it's basically just a waiting game. Big old gnarly green houseplant gone wrong. He starts to pick up speed and stuff. So the main thing is you just want to make sure that you have enough missiles going into this fight. Um, pretty sure it takes at least about ten or twelve in order to uh, in order to defeat it. And um, it's when you run out of missiles later on, like when he's all going around fast like that, that you might run into a little bit of an issue with uh, shooting, you know, you shoot the little spore, little spore flakes or whatever the hell they are floating down, and they'll, they'll give you missiles, but, you know, you have a chance of getting hit while you're out there trying to gather them. So you just make sure you have enough before you go in there, and then everything's fine. And don't miss your target. I think he's gonna go down with this with this next shot because he's getting pretty brown and nasty looking, all wilty and what have you, flipping out like a. Me imagine seeing a big old plant like that flailing and flipping out like crazy. One thing I noticed about uh, spore spawn is that it's one of the only things that if you wall jump off of it, it like it shudders. <laughs> it's kind of weird also uh, another, another another thing that does that is the little is the little uh, oh you'll find them later on there's these little dragon like guys that uh, I'm sure that if there's anybody out there that knows the names of all these monsters are just shaking their head but uh, 